a country music star, a rooftop, and a throne chair. What could possibly go wrong? Well, quite a lot it seems. Picture this. The heart of Nashville with all its vibrant energy and country soul is abuzz with excitement. Chief's Bar, a new hotspot in town owned by none other than Eric Church himself, is celebrating its grand opening. The night is young, the lights are bright, and the music is just right. Among the crowd is a familiar face, a man whose voice has echoed across the radio waves and into the hearts of country music fans, Morgan Wallen. Wallen is known for his soulful tunes and his signature mullet, but tonight, he's about to make headlines for a very different reason. As the night unfolds, the atmosphere grows more electric, the crowd more lively, and Wallen, well, he gets a little more reckless. Now, let's take a moment to set the scene properly. We're on the rooftop of Chief's Bar, a place that's quickly becoming synonymous with good music and great times. The city lights are twinkling below, the music is humming in the background, and the air is filled with the sound of laughter and clinking glasses. It's a typical night on Broadway, until it isn't. In the midst of the revelry, Wallen allegedly picks up a chair. Now, one might think he's just moving it out of the way, or maybe he's had a few too many and needs a moment to sit down. But no, instead he hurls the chair off the rooftop. The chair spirals through the air, a dangerous projectile, landing perilously close to police officers below. What was once a celebration has now escalated into a serious incident with potential legal consequences. The country music star's actions have turned an evening of joy into an event marked by recklessness. And just like that, a seemingly normal night out on Broadway turns into a scene straight out of a Hollywood movie. But the drama didn't end there, no, it was just the beginning. In the blink of an eye, the jovial atmosphere of the night turned palpable with tension. The crowd stood frozen, their eyes wide in shock as the chair flung by country music superstar Morgan Wallen crashed near the unsuspecting police officers below. The sound of the chair hitting the ground echoed through the streets of Broadway, a harsh reminder of the reckless act that had just been committed. The police officers, once caught off guard, were quick to spring into action. Their years of training kicking in, they swiftly secured the scene, ensuring the safety of the bystanders who were still coming to terms with what they had just witnessed. The air was thick with anticipation, everyone holding their breath as they watched the officers make their way towards the rooftop of Chief's Bar. As the police confronted Wallen, their stern faces a stark contrast to his own, the gravity of the situation began to dawn on him. He was promptly arrested, the bright flash of the handcuffs under the city lights signaling the end of his reckless escapade. The charges against him were severe. Three counts of felony reckless endangerment and one count of disorderly conduct, reflecting the potential danger his actions had posed to those below. The crowd watched in silence as Wallen, once the life of the party, was escorted away by the police. The cheers and laughter that had filled the air just moments ago were replaced by a deafening silence, the only sound being the distant hum of the city. The sight of the country music star, known for his catchy tunes and charismatic performances, being taken away in handcuffs was a sight that would be etched in their memories for a long time. As Wallen was taken away in handcuffs, the crowd watched in disbelief. A night to remember, indeed. The consequences of our actions often come back to haunt us, and for Wallen, they came sooner rather than later. The country music scene was abuzz as news of Wallen's arrest spread like wildfire. With charges of felony reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct hanging over his head, the gravity of the situation began to sink in. Wallen's reckless act had far-reaching consequences. His public image, once that of a charming, talented country singer, was now marred by this incident. Fans and critics alike took to social media platforms to air their views. Some expressed disappointment, others shock, and a few even questioned if they could continue supporting him after this incident. The court of public opinion can often be harsher than the actual court, and Wallen was learning this the hard way. Meanwhile, his career too faced the brunt of his actions. The music industry, like any other, values reputation. A single misstep can often lead to a cascade of events that could potentially derail an artist's career. Wallen's record label, endorsements, and tour schedules were all under threat. Yet, amidst the storm, Wallen had to find a way to navigate and keep his career afloat. But every storm has an eye, a moment of calm amidst the chaos. For Wallen, this came when he was able to post bond and secure his release from jail. A brief respite, but a crucial one. It gave him the chance to regroup, to plan his next move, to prepare for the legal battle that lay ahead. He was out of his cell, but he was far from free. The court date was set, 
and Wallen knew he had to face the music, both metaphorically and literally. The world watched as Wallen stepped out of the jail, a free man for now. The bright lights of the cameras caught the glint of uncertainty in his eyes. He was out, but at what cost? His reputation was tarnished, his career on the line, and a court date looming over his head. So, Wallen walked free, but with a tarnished reputation and a court date looming over his head. While we've talked a lot about Wallen, let's not forget the venue where all this drama unfolded. Enter Chief's Bar, a Nashville hotspot that had just celebrated its grand opening. This establishment is more than just another watering hole on Broadway. It's a place where country music pulsates through the walls, where the spirit of Nashville comes alive. It's an establishment owned by none other than the country music powerhouse, Eric Church. Church, renowned for his unique blend of country and rock, is more than just a chart-topping artist. He's a businessman with a keen eye for opportunity. The opening of Chief's Bar was his latest venture, a place where fans could gather, enjoy a drink, and feel part of the vibrant Nashville music scene. But the grand opening celebration took a sour turn with the incident involving Wallen. Imagine the shock of patrons, the disbelief of staff, when one of country music's own stars allegedly turned an evening of celebration into a scene of chaos. Yet in the aftermath, it's important to remember that this was not representative of the bar's atmosphere or its owner's intentions. Eric Church, known for his dedication to his fans and his craft, had envisioned Chief's Bar as a haven for country music lovers. He wanted it to be a place where patrons could kick back and relax, not a venue for reckless endangerment. The incident, while shocking, did not deter the spirit of Chief's Bar. The establishment continues to stand strong, welcoming patrons with the promise of good music, good company, and a good time. It's a testament to the resilience of the Nashville community, the strength of its music scene, and the determination of Eric Church. For Chief's Bar, this incident was undoubtedly a publicity nightmare. But as they say, there's no such thing as bad publicity. So, where does this leave us? What's next for Wallen, the bar, and everyone else involved? Let's take a step back and review the events that unfolded. Country music star Morgan Wallen found himself in hot water after a night at Chief's Bar, a Nashville establishment owned by fellow musician Eric Church. The evening took a turn when Wallen allegedly threw a chair from the rooftop, a reckless act that landed perilously close to police officers below. This resulted in his arrest and charges of felony reckless endangerment and disorderly conduct. After posting bond, Wallen was released from jail, leaving a trail of questions and concerns in his wake. This incident, while certainly shocking, has added a layer of controversy to Wallen's already tumultuous career. It's unclear what the future holds for him, but it's safe to say that this event will have a significant impact. As for Chief's Bar, this event has certainly put them in the spotlight. The grand opening celebration was marred by this incident, casting a shadow over what should have been a joyful occasion. The bar's future, much like Wallen's, is now under a cloud of uncertainty. The aftermath of this night is far-reaching, not just for Wallen and Chief's Bar, but for the entire country music community and Nashville's Broadway. This incident has become a part of the city's lore, a story that will be told and retold, serving as a stark reminder of the consequences of reckless behavior. Looking ahead, it's anyone's guess how this will play out. Will Wallen face serious legal consequences? Will this incident affect his career in the long term? And what about Chief's Bar? Will they bounce back from this controversy? Or will it leave a lasting stain on their reputation? Only time will tell. One thing is certain though. This incident will be a part of Nashville's Broadway lore for years to come. And for Morgan Wallen, it's a night he would surely want to forget.